Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to string your tennis racket. You will need your racket, string, your tools, and of course your stringer. I'll be using the Gamma X2 stringer for this case. First thing you'll want to do is cut off all your string using your pliers. Usually you should start from the middle and work your way through the corners. Towards the corner. Start working towards this corner. Okay, now what you want to do is place your racket. First of all, you can adjust. You can adjust the movement of this, so it should, using this tool, uh, right here, so you can move this back and forth. Mine is already adjusted, so I'm not gonna do that. But after you do that, you place your racket perfectly. Actually, I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Show you how it's done. Okay, next, make sure it's perfectly in the center. Most rackets indicate that it's in the center. They usually have this kind of line. Uh, and you can tell if there's three here or four, you can see four rings, so obviously it'll be right in the middle, right there. So you wanna place it perfectly centered. Actually, I need to adjust this a little bit more. Make sure it's perfectly centered and use these tools, put it on the racket and screw these on. All of this should come with your stringer, all the tools you would need. Okay, make sure it's perfectly centered. Now what you wanna do is measure out your string. So my racket is 18 by 20. So what I'm gonna do is, it's 18 down the mains and 20 down the crosses. So first I'll do, I'm gonna do a two piece job. So it's gonna be 18. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'll do this 18 times. And usually one more for good measure. Cut off your string. Now what you want to do is place your string into the middle, the center of whichever side. So in this case, you have four of these, meaning you'll place the string on the top. If you have three of these things, you'll place your string on the bottom. So you start from the top. Now here's a quick tip. You can cut off this, make it sharp, so it'll slide easier.
Okay. So you want down the middle and you want to hit this middle now. The bottom middle. And you want to walk across the room to make sure the strings are perfectly uh, even on both sides. Okay, now you have these things which are called clamps and you want to place your first clamp near the bottom at the beginning. You place your clamp right here. It should be hard to squeeze it but not so hard that you gotta go. That's about a good tension. Take it. Now you want to take this string and put it through through the next hole. Should look like this. I don't know if you can see that. And then put it through this hole. The next one. And now what you want to do is you're going to use your drop weight. So the way that you use this is you set it to a tension that you like. For example, I like setting mine to 56 pounds of tension. So you would find this thing and you would find 56 on the side facing your racket. And you go to 56 and tighten it. This is a drop weight mechanism, so it's going to produce 56 pounds of force. You... you you perfectly centered from this position. Now you take your string, you wrap it around, and go. So since it fell too far, what you want to do is hold on here very tight, go up, and let go. And it should be perfectly parallel, as you can see. To perfectly parallel to the table, or whatever flat surface you're stringing on. Now this is exactly 56 pounds of tension in this string right here. So you take your next clamp and you clamp it. And now you keep doing this all the way down, and then you do this side all the way down. So you just keep changing. Okay, so now every racket is going to have some kind of pattern. Mine, you stay in this one and you skip that one. And usually it should indicate, there's little dots here that indicate that these are mains. So if you can't find your pattern, you can find it on Google Images or the way it's already strung by the manufacturer. So. Okay, so this side is finished. Now what I'm gonna wanna do is tie a knot. So mine says main tie off right here. So I'm gonna put it in the main tie off. I'm gonna loop around that string, loop around, 
go under that same string and go through the loop I just made. So you can study that more carefully. You just loop around and go through the loop. And then you pull. Make sure this is really good tension. So pull hard. Ah. And do that one more time for extra security. Now, this is not the best loop, but I've been doing it for years and it never failed me. So it's good enough. I always do two for extra measure. And that's it. This is done. So I'll cut the off this string. Extra string that we don't need anymore. Take off this clamp. And now do this side of the mains, the next nine. Okay, mains are done. Now we're going to move on to crosses. So to do the crosses, you do the same thing initially with what you do with the mains, but you do it 20. Most rackets now are 16 by 19, so you would do 19 in your case. I usually do one for good measure, so I'm going to do 21 times. One, two, three, four. And to start off the process, you usually want to start off, actually always you want to start off from the top. Just because I heard it's better for the racket in some way, but you, there's a cross tie off on both sides. You can start either side. And here I just do one knot. If I can, I'll like to do two. So I'll try doing two. Okay, so now you do the same thing for your crosses, but here's how you do it. Again, make the edge sharp. And find the first hole. And you want to start from the top. And you would go under, over, under, over. So under, over, under, over, under, over. Now, since you cannot clamp with one string, you need two strings to do your first clamp, and you again will do 56 pounds of tension or whatever tension you set for yourself. Same thing. Make sure it's perfectly parallel. Okay. And you would just need one clamp for the crosses. So clamp your first two. A little hard to get this one. Make sure all the strings are perfect. Okay, and you can do the rest of the racket. Okay, that's it. Clamp. And tie off the last piece where it says cross is tie off. Or wherever indicated on your specific racket. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below. Thanks a lot.